Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the gas to your range. In this video, we'll show you how to install the LP conversion kit in the Frigidaire range. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 3 inch nut driver, half inch open-ended wrench, 70 mm deep socket wrench, and 5 8 inch deep socket wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a set of orifices and the instructions. Because of the operation pressure differences between the LP gas and the natural gas, every time the gases are switched, the LP conversion kit is a must. First, we need to convert the pressure regulator. Pull out, lift, and remove the storage drawer. The pressure regulator is mounted on the rear panel on the right. Squeeze yourself inside and remove the dust cap. Using the 5 8 inch socket wrench, unscrew the regulator cap. Look at the cap. When it's installed with the hollow end toward the regulator, it's set for a natural gas, and with the solid end first for the LP gas. Remove the dust cap o-ring, which works as a seal, and put it on the opposite solid end, ready to be used with the LP gas. Screw in the regular cap and tighten it with a 5 8 inch socket wrench. Place on the dust cap. Next, using the half inch wrench, tighten clockwise the bake burner adjustable spud until it's snug against the metering pin. Install the storage drawer. Open the oven door. Pull out, lift up, and remove the top oven rack. Repeat the procedure at the broil burner spot inside the oven. Slide the oven rack in and close the oven door. Then turn the gas on, plug the wrench in, and light the broil burner. Keep turning down the spot until the flame becomes three quarter of an inch and blue color. Repeat the procedure with a bake burner. Unplug the wrench and turn the gas off again. Now we need to convert the top burners. Remove the grate and leave the cap off the burner. Each burner is attached with two screws. Using the 3 16 inch nut driver, remove the screws and leave the burner off. Then, using the 70 mm deep socket wrench, unscrew the old orifice, and when you will feel that it's loose, push down the socket head so the orifice will get inside it. Now we can leave the orifice out without risking to lose it. Repeat the procedure for the rest of the burners. Now we need to choose the correct orifice for each burner from the envelope labeled screw mounted LP kit. They are rated in BTU. We have one large burner rated 14,000 BTU, two medium burners rated 9,500 BTU each, and one small burner at 5,000 BTU. Refer to the chart provided in the instructions on the page number six. For the large 14,000 BTU burner, for LP gas, we need the orifice stamped 1.09 and marked with brown paint. For the two medium 9500 BTU burners, we need two stamped 0.93 marked with white paint orifices. And for the 5000 BTU burner, pink stamped 0.66. Push the new orifice inside the 70 mm socket pad and screw it in. Install the burner and secure it with the two 316 inch screws. 
Install the burning cap on the burner and replace the grate. Repeat the procedure for the rest of the burners. Plug the engine, turn the gas on, and no more excuses, you've got to cook now. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.